Good afternoon and welcome on this glorious day to our new green. It's a long time coming, but it was worth the wait. It's absolutely magnificent. The green is the heart and the hub of our community, with the history going back to 1849, when it was known as the Center Square. This initiative is part of the Waterbury Next project a public-private partner, public partnership to revitalize our downtown. It is one part of the master plan of Mayor Neil O'Leary, who envisions a vibrant downtown center conducive to cultural, social, civic activities, a central core connecting all the neighborhoods. Directed by input from community members and stakeholders, and guided by the expertise of urban planners and landscape designers, the transformation has been realized. The Parks Department Director, Mark Lombardo, and his team have worked tirelessly to ensure that every issue has been addressed and the finished product is a source of pride. The new show place features all new electrical and lighting systems, a complete and efficient irrigation system, new walkways, new curbing and stone borders, new plantings and sod, new benches, new refuse and recycling bins, new water fountains, security phones, and Wi-Fi. Our green is now state-of-the-art green. The green is anchored by an impressive architectural array of buildings, each one providing critical and quality of life benefits to our community. The iconic Basilica of the Immaculate Conception, even more magnificent since its most recent restoration, the Mattituck Museum, a dynamic center of art and culture and an economic cornerstone of the city. The YMCA, a vibrant and modern cutting edge health and wellness facility. The Grand St. John's Church, which is listed on the National Registry of historic places and a block up the street, the state-of-the-art magnet school. The Waterbury Arts Magnet School is well represented here today. Our Palace Theater rivals any Broadway venue and features a most impressive calendar of events. Yukon and the recently restored 
Rectory Building are part of the continually growing and thriving Yukon campus. This new green will afford expansive opportunities to these important anchors of our community and will allow programming events to take place here. Our green has been called the Jewel of Waterbury. Let's make sure we keep it that way. I'd like to call up Mark Lombardo. Thank you. I'd just like to take this opportunity very quickly just to recognize a few people here tonight. Uh, I'd like to thank um, the Public Works Department, Bureau of Parks, David Simpson, Robert Gaetano, Anthony Pacocci, and John Egan who are here tonight. I'd like to thank our project consultants and designers, BSC Group, who did a tremendous job on this project. And we'd also like to thank Waters Construction, President Mario Smith. They were the general contractors on this job. And the city worked hand in hand with them over the past year to see uh, the green come to its completion. Thank you. Right now, I'd like to call up Deborah Sullivan to sing the national anthem. Thank you, and our flag is right there. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous night or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled Now I'd like to call up the Reverend Christopher Ford from the Basilica of the Immaculate Conception for a blessing. We gather on this beautiful almost summer, summer's tomorrow, almost summer afternoon in this beautiful place to rededicate this ancient place, this ancient park which has been made new through the efforts of many. We acknowledge our creator for all creation reflects his beauty, his goodness, his omnipotence. But nothing reflects God's beauty and omnipotence and goodness more than human beings, more than us, made in his own image and likeness. So I invoke God's blessing on all present and on all who have made this beautiful renovation possible. The mayor, his staff, the committee, the parks department, the designers, the contractors, and all the construction workers. And of course, I invoke God's blessing on the public, on the good people of Waterbury, and all our visitors who will enjoy this place, this special place, this beautiful place for years to come. May it always be a safe haven for our citizens, a place to rest, to be refreshed, and to enjoy the company of fellow citizens and experience peace in the midst of a busy city and in the course of often hectic lives. May this always be a peaceful place and a place where people find peace. Amen. Amen, Father. I'd like to call up Brianna Crespo who is going to sing God Bless America from the WAMS School. God bless America, land that I love. Stand beside her, 
and guide her through the night with the light from above. From the mountains, through the prairies, through the oceans, wide with foam. God bless America, my home sweet home. God bless America, my home sweet home. Beautiful graduation tonight. Um, and I'd like to introduce the Honorable Mayor Neil O'Leary. Thank you. Great. Thank you. I don't know about you guys, but I was very deeply touched by that rendition of God Bless America. Another round of applause, please. And Brianna is graduating tomorrow night from WAMS. And in September, she'll be a student right here in downtown Waterbury, Yukon. Congratulations. We've got so many great things going on in downtown Waterbury. And I'll tell you, I first want to recognize and clearly recognize Governor Malloy. If it wasn't for the Waterbury Next initiative and his support of downtown Waterbury and Waterbury at large, we wouldn't be able to stand here and celebrate this magnificent green today. So special thanks to Governor Malloy. I also want to thank our state delegation, some of which are with us today. We were led by Senator Joan Hartley, who is here. Representative Jeff Berger is here. Representative Larry Butler is here. Representative Stephanie Cummings is here. Am I missing anyone? Special round of applause for them and all the support that they've shown this administration over the last five and a half years. I also would be very remiss if I didn't recognize Mark Lombardo. You know, Mark has been an integral part of the Park Department, the Public Works Department, led by Dave Simpson, and Mark has put his heart and soul not only into this green project, but he's put his heart and soul into every park in the city of Waterbury and especially the two golf courses. Please, a round of applause for his dedication. I certainly want to thank Dr. Oletta, who's here today, and all the members of the Board of Education. Thank you. And I also want to thank the members of the Board of Aldermen who are here as well. Thank you for being here and supporting us. This project became, like every project, <laughs> much more complicated than we ever could have imagined. Uh, not because of unexpected uh, uh, issues, which we run into from time to time on other projects, just because as we started to work with the committee led by Kathy Smith, we just decided that we weren't going to cut any corners. Under Kathy's uh, extremely strong and driven leadership, we decided to do it right the first time. And I can tell you, I hope you all will please take a moment and walk all the way down to the west side of the green and you will see the magnificent amount of work that has been done here. We are so proud of all of the team involved, particularly the project manager management team at WDC, led by Jim Nardozzi and Bob Mulhall. These guys really put their heart and soul into this project. And I think, Kathy, we, they delivered everything that you wanted. And we're very, very happy about that. When I say what Kathy wanted, it was a collective committee but I put Kathy in charge of dealing with all of the project management people and the contractors because Kathy has a way with words and has a way of getting things done and she's so much more eloquent than I am. So 
they were relieved, I'm sure, to be dealing with Kathy instead of me. Uh, at the end of the day, this is downtown Waterbury. And this is where we live, work, play, and take care of one another. And this green, as Father Ford so eloquently said, should be the center of it all and will be. And we have made this green with the different amenities that this green can, can handle just about any function that we'd like to have here. And we've also uh, invested very, very heavily into this green. And my call out to all city officials is to make sure that it stays as beautiful as it is today. So we will be watching over this green very, very closely as it is the center of our Waterbury revitalization plans. You all know what's happening here across the street, over there at the Brown Lombard building on the second and third floor are the University of Connecticut dormitory rooms. 98 rooms will be over there and they're already half spoken for. Right behind me is 36 North Main Street. We will have a surprise announcement on that, hopefully by the end of the summer. And we have other buildings in our immediate vicinity that there will be some great announcements on in the very near future. I am very, very excited about all of it but there's uh, negotiations going on and different things happening, so I'm not at liberty to discuss them specifically at the moment, but you can be rest assured, I promise you all, that you will be very pleased with how your downtown will look in a few short years to come. Uh, lastly, I do want to thank all of our park commissioners uh, for being here today. Commissioner Begnell is here, Commissioner Weston is here, Commissioner Salvio is here, and Commissioner Pelletier. Um, I don't know if many of you have noticed, but this park board has been more involved over the last five years probably than ever before. And if you can find the time to visit each of our parks, you will see dramatic improvements in the parks all throughout the city, giving all of our young people and elderly and everyone in between an opportunity to enjoy some of the most beautiful parks in Connecticut and probably in the country. And we're very proud of that. We're proud of all the exciting things happening. Downtown Waterbury revitalization, new attention being paid to with all of our parks throughout the city. We have 12 working splash pads. We can brag about that now. They'll be gone all summer long so that our children can find relief in a splash pad instead of underneath the fire hydrant. That's pretty, that's pretty good. So we're, we're making progress, Father Ford, I promise. So at the end of the day, we have our, our horses over there. Uh, what's the horse's name, Deputy? That's Crusher. That's Crusher, everyone. So please, when you get a chance, go see Officer Jones and Crusher. The horses will be a significant part of downtown Waterbury from this point moving forward. And so we're very, very delighted to see all of our friends from PAL here. Everyone take a look over my shoulder and take a look at the new PAL bus. How do you like that? Isn't it beautiful? Brand new and fully donated by uh, John Dufour. And uh, I just love the, they call it the wrap. I call it paint, but they call it a wrap. And I just love our PAL students on the side in the front and back of that bus. And I'm really excited about having each of our PAL people here. We have uh, great representation, of course, from the police department, the fire department, and all the other city offices. So once again, I tell you from the bottom of my heart, you cannot, trust me, we cannot make things like this happen without the stakeholdership of so many great volunteers in this community. And it's amazing to see what we can do when we get in a room, develop a vision and a plan, and get things done. So thank you all very much for being here. God bless. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I think you summed it up beautifully. Um, the Children's Community Choir is going under the direction of Kalita Jones and Kathy Cerisi, and Tim King is going to play for us.
Hi everyone, I'm Kalita Jones. I'm the artistic director of Bravo Waterbury. And all of these students are participants in that program. It's a music education social change program of the Waterbury Symphony Orchestra. And um, we're really excited about the green. And thank you, Kathy Smith, for allowing us to come down and participate in the ceremony. I just wanna say one thing. If you see something, say something. And you all have done so much work in this community to clean it up. And we have to model for them what it looks like to take care of something as beautiful as this is. So if you see garbage, pick it up. If you see someone drop something, say something. So that we can keep this here for another 100 years and we're not having another ceremony like this. If we take care of it, we won't have to ever have this conversation again. Um, we're really excited to share our music t for you today. We are going to sing a song called One Day. I think I think it's very fitting for this event and we hope you enjoy. I would like to have Senator Joan Hartley and the delegation please uh, step forward. Well, thanks very much. And joining me uh, is Representative Butler and Representative Berger and Representative Cummings. Uh, so this is a historic day. And 
if you've ever visited the Mattertuck Museum, you will see the history of Waterbury chronicled on the walls. Um, and you will see the evolution of the downtown and the green. And today, this will be another milestone that will be uh, chronicled on the walls of the Mattertuck Museum, that we once again reinvigorated uh, our, the core of our urban center, Waterbury, the fifth largest city in the state of Connecticut. Um, and th this green is, quite frankly, the people's green. We talk about the, the, the Capitol and the, and the White House as being the people's um, entities. This is the citizens of Waterbury's green. And so I first of all want to just say a deep thank you to the architects, um, the mayor who once of course invigorated us, the committee which spent such painstaking time, uh, the ability to do this by virtue of the bonding agenda that the governor um, put on and, and also uh, with the work of, of the delegation. And of course the work of all of the people, representatives, um, co park commissioners, um, Mark Lombardo, and of course Joe Gary. Joe, take a bow. <laughs> and so having said that, there is one message I'd like to leave with you, and that is this is our green you all have a part of it, but you have an obligation, and your obligation is to keep this up. It's everybody's, and it's everybody's challenge um, to once again keep this as beautiful as it is. We will see the YMCA uh, working out down here. We will see the members of the church. We will see the community uh, of seniors who are here, uh, the Shakespeareans, the U uh, University of Connecticut, all working at this core center, bringing everybody together. That's what the intention of a green is. So I am so excited to be able to be here and say thank you for everybody who has made this possible. Um, and I would like to uh, share this opportunity with my colleagues. Uh, Representative Berger. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Senator. And again, it's a uh, so important day here for us today. I think it's a recurring theme uh, however, that we hear, and Senator Hartley alluded to it, I think other speakers alluded to it. Uh, we've seen it happen in other portions of the city, uh, at Fulton Park with Mike Salvio, uh, the commitment of the community uh, of Overlook in the area by Fulton Park, and the commitment to maintain that park. We as a state delegation, as a state, bring money back. Uh, that evolves to an initial construction, uh, but the commitment of the community um, as we see throughout the city, Fulton Park, Bunker Hill Park when we first did it, Hamilton Park. It was the community at large that had a commitment to keep it and maintain it, and there was ownership. Senator Hartley alluded to that very, very strongly, that it's the ownership of the community of the city of Waterbury. This is a park. I know it's the green, but it is a park, so this is our park. And it's important for us to maintain it and be proud of it and have it as a legacy for all of us to be able to be proud of. So thank you. I am inc incredibly excited to be here on such a beautiful day on our beautifully renovated green to celebrate what the city is doing downtown. As a young professional, I work right over on the corner on Leavenworth Street, and we look for things like this. Young professionals look for fantastic greens and fantastic downtowns, and I am so proud to be a member of the Waterbury community, and thank you to everyone who made this possible, and thank you to all the children who are here today to help us celebrate. Thank you again. I again would just like to thank our mayor, Mayor O'Leary. Let's give him a hand. And all the people that he acknowledges, um, especially Kathy Smith, um, Mark Lombardo, all the park department, everyone. I, I, I just want to give perspective from growing up as a little boy, being born and raised in Waterbury, telling you how proud I am to be a Waterburyan all these years. And as a little boy walking through here on my way to the movies every Sunday, uh, so I, I can tell you that I, I've seen this through the eyes of a little boy and now as a 
more mature man, and I'm so proud, prouder than ever to be a Waterburyan. And I just give the prospect of, I hope that whoever drinks from the fountains here, whether it's the horse or another fountain, that it means that you may leave, but you'll always return. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you to the delegation for their support, their always, their undying commitment and involvement. Um, I just wanted to say special thanks to Father Ford, uh, to Deborah Sullivan for um, her beautiful rendition, to Mariana Vagnini for helping out so much, Philip Sterling and Brianna Crespo for singing, uh, to the Wham's Quar Quartet, Tyrig Andrews, Tanya Jimenez, Angel Lanos, and Thomas Storer, um, and the Bravo team under Kalita and Kathy Cerisi. Um, and Tim Kane, and I'd like to thank Deputy Chief Fred Spagnola for bringing the PAL team down and um, sharing with us and showing off our magnificent bus. And I would like to, it, the last thing we're gonna do is have the PAL team plant some flowers under the flag. And they're gonna do that right now, and we're gonna have the bucket band from Children's Community School playing some marching music. So. Um, I'd like to thank everybody for participating and enjoy the green, protect the green. We own the green, it's ours, and we have to answer for it. So thank you so much.
cousins. They're all, they're relatives. Yeah. Really? I, I just moved to Nagi and I met all of them. So these are like the kids I, I met. I met him off of Xbox. I have no clue how. I have no clue how. Out of the millions what? of people. Out of the millions of people on Xbox, what? I met him on Xbox. And then they're like, oh, they're like, come to the green. I'm like, I don't know where the green is or what it even looks like. Oh, I didn't see one. So I, didn't, I don't know Waterbury, so I was just getting lost. I always sat down here with my uh, sister who passed away 16 months ago. Oh. So she was down central, so me and her sat here a lot. So, you know, so I come down here. And it's safe for the car, you know, watch the cars. With her, you know, she liked I always walked her around it. And stuff like that, and the buses and everything. She liked the people and stuff. I the potatoes even not the quack, guess even not the quack. I so many of the potatoes. So many of the potatoes. See what? Okay, so good. The viaggio guarda. The viaggio guarda. The viaggio tutto goes. She likes everything, the viaggio tutto goes. Okay. When the year was old, seven people never got so. Did you hear what she said? I don't when speak she, any Oh, okay. You don't know, you don't see. My, uh, that's a story, but I'll, I'll tell you after. When she was young, she worked at Waterbury Buckle, and she walked, well, when she was young, when we came from Italy, she walked from Hill, uh, Birch Street all the way to Waterbury Buckle, and then she used to come downtown, and she they used to have a market, I think it was George No Rose, boss. A mar the old boss, yeah. And she used to walk, and she used to go to the bank, and she loves it. She loves it here. And now I told her that we did the green, and she goes, "Oh, we came yesterday, and we had to come today, because she loves there's people. She see, oh my God, they put bricks, you know, they do. She used to come here all the time. Prima, just stay with the She used to go to church here. Came okay, morning, we saw. She says before it wasn't pretty like this. There was no flower. Now you know it's pretty. That's great. She she was awake. She usually sleeps. And now she comes here. She's right awake. There you go. Oh yeah, you want to put your last? Hi everybody. Hi. Come on down. Inhale. Ha! We're gonna do ten of them. Inhale. Ha! Inhale. Ha! Inhale. Ha! Oh, we have a big question. Yeah, in our Tai Chi class, admire 35, 40 people. Yeah. Tai Chi people are different people. They're open-minded, open-hearted. They're receptive. It, the, the beauty of the discipline, the mind-body discipline. You know, it's a, it's a great way to stretch, exercise, balance, flexibility, peace of mind, center yourself. Uh, it's great being out here on the green in Waterbury to do it outdoors, a beautiful venue. Oh, yeah. And uh, from here, we were talking about before I'm, we, how important you have the church. I go to the church every other day after my practice. I meditate the church, prayer or meditate. Then I go to the museum if I want to get a little art. Right, Art and history, beautiful. Bob Burns is a curator of a museum. Incredible assortment of art, great stuff. Then I go back to the Y, take my shower, sit in a dry sauna, a wet sauna, and I feel like I'm floating out of the center of Waterbury. And now we have the green here, which is a lynch pen. It's such a beautiful place to come and sit and just enjoy. A place of refuge, you know? To meet friends, just sit and have a good time, right? And commiserate with fellow Waterburyans. It's a great place to, a good way to put a great place to meet people. We call it the Trinity, right? The Basilica, like I said, we don't have to go to Europe. We don't have to go to Italy. We have a basilica. We don't have to go to the Louvre in France. We have our beautiful museum. And we don't have to pay thousands of dollars to go to spa. We have the YMCA. We have it right here. Yeah. One package. One stop shopping for mind, body, wellness in downtown Waterbury. And oh, the Mark. theater. And the theater. The Palace Theater. Some oh, of the greatest. Yeah. Right. I forgot about that, Laura. Thank you so much. And the college. And the college, UConn. Yeah. Beautiful courtyard at UConn Branch. A and beautiful And they're making new college. Uh, them. Uh, dorms for the Right, college. they're making new dorms. Yeah. So the city is changing. It's about Tai Chi being an art discipline. Mm -hmm. And I talked to Bob, and he hooked into it right away. He says, yes, Tai Chi belongs in our museum. He invited me before I started, Joe, you can come to this museum anytime you want, do Tai Chi, any floor you want, in the courtyard. And then he was gracious enough when I brought up, let's do classes in the museum. And it's yeah. a whole so Wednesday different... Wednesday mornings. Oh, it's a beautiful platform. God, it's so gorgeous. The silence, the artwork. I mean, it's gorgeous.
Where does what room do you do? That? They move oh, around. They move around. They're in the pack sometimes, and they're in the galleries yeah, too. Yeah, we move around, and the students adore. All of a sudden, they start appreciating art from a different perspective. Yeah. When their minds, it's incredible to see the look, the looks of people looking at something in the midst of doing tai chi. Well, they have time to take the art in as right. they're yes. moving slowly through the moves because. Most museum goers go in, read the label, look at it, move to the next one. So it's right. nice to have a group of people who are actually taking time and paying attention to single works of yes. art. Yeah. Well, the people, the foundational yeah. Waterbury's the people. Great, great people. Like I said, the neighborhoods, man, you go in any neighborhood in Waterbury, you're going to be welcome. I'll be downtown They're going to receive you. Every day I'm downtown. Yeah. I love it. Good for you. Good place to be. Take Thank care, you. Dave. Thank you so Thank much for coming. Yeah, we for love coming. Waterbury. Waterbury is our hometown.